Gore and her daughter, Love, struggle to survive in a hot desert where food and water are extremely scarce. Although Gore asks his god Rapu in his prayers to help them, unfortunately his daughter Love ends up dying due to hunger and insatiable thirst. After burying his daughter in the desert, Gore hears mysterious voices that lead him to find an oasis full of vegetation and finds a recently murdered corpse, which possessed a dark sword known as the Necrosword, a dark weapon capable of killing to the gods, but also runs into the exuberant god Rapu. At first, Gore tells him about his plight, but Rapu simply scoffs at him and mentions that humans are just replaceable parts and worthless to him. Faced with these statements, Gore renounces the belief in the god, which causes Rapu to strangle him in retribution, however the necrosword quickly possesses Gore and with which he kills the god Rapu, stabbing him in the throat and swears that from now on kill all the gods, in turn the necrosword also gives Gore the ability to manipulate shadows and produce monsters, but he also ends up cursed and with an imminent death, due to the corruption and influence of the sword. After Gore kills several gods, Thor, who has joined the Guardians of the Galaxy, but after carrying out a mission on a planet, he learns of a distress signal coming from Sif in a part of the galaxy, for which Thor decides to separate from the team and look for his old friend, who is very badly injured and without her right arm, who warns that Gore's next target is New Asgard. Meanwhile, Dr. Jane Foster, Thor's ex-girlfriend, has been diagnosed with terminal stage 4 cancer. With medical treatment proving ineffective, she travels to New Asgard in the hope that Thor's hammer Mjolnir, which was previously fractured by Hela, might heal her. Due to an enchantment Thor unknowingly placed on it years earlier to protect Foster, Mjolnir is reforged and bonded to her. Thor arrives in New Asgard just as Gore's attack begins. Thor is shocked to find Foster wielding Mjolnir, but joins her, Valkyrie, and Korg in fighting Gore. The group thwarts Gore, but he escapes, kidnapping several Asgardian children and imprisoning them in the Shadow Realm. Having inherited the abilities of his deceased father Heimdall, his son Axel contacts Thor, who finds the children. The group travels to Omnipotent City to warn the other gods and ask for their help in raising an army. The leader of the gods, Zeus, fears Gore and is unwilling to help, thinking that they can stay safe and hidden from Gore in the city. Zeus orders the group's capture to prevent them from exposing the city's location to Gore. As Zeus wounds Kork, Thor impales Zeus with his own lightning bolt which Valkyrie steals before they escape. As the journey continues, Thor and Foster rekindle their romantic relationship and Foster reveals her illness. The group arrive in the Shadow Realm but are unable to locate the children. Foster deduces that the kidnappings were a setup for Gore to take Thor's axe, the Stormbreaker, to summon the Bifrost and enter the Realm of Eternity, which can grant his wish to destroy all gods. Gore overpowers the group, seriously injuring Valkyria. The group retreats to Earth, though Gore manages to steal the Stormbreaker. Draining her strength each time she uses Mjolnir, she warns Foster that using it one more time will likely kill her. Thor convinces Foster to let him fight Gore alone while she recovers. Thor finds the kidnapped children at the Altar of Eternity and, using Zeus' Thunderbolt, imbues them with his power to fight Gore's monsters while he fights Gore. When Foster senses that Gore is about to kill Thor, she joins the battle with Mjolnir to save him. They destroy the Necrosword, freeing Gore from its influence, but the three are taken to the Realm of Eternity. With Gore ready to make his wish, Thor implores him to revive his daughter instead of destroying the gods. Thor then leaves Gore to make the decision for him and tends to Foster, who succumbs to her illness and dies in her arms. Touched by his display, Gore wishes for eternity to revive love, which he grants. When Gore dies from the curse, he asks Thor to take care of love. In a mid credit scene, an injured Zeus sends his son Hercules to kill Thor. In another post credit scene, Foster arrives at the gates of Valhalla, where Heimdall is. Welcomes you.